Hello fellow Leggers, thank you for joining us once again on a cold windy evening here on London South Bank where we are going to the beautifully illuminated National Theatre. And we're in the Olivier space this evening to see the premiere of a brand new Tony Kushner play still in previews and that is The Visit. So stick around fellow Leggers to hear all of our thoughts. Find out how many stars. Whether it's break a leg or leg it. Just lovely. Even though it's really windy, yeah, it's like I mean, really look at nice my hair. Illuminated. I've gone like crazy. If you need an understudy funny. for Doc Brown in Back to the Future the Musical, I can I can make this white. <laughs> like we can we can work with this this do. But yeah, my God, it's just lovely here. And the national changes colour. If it's Pride Month, they'll and probably stick up rainbow colours. And it's that lovely. building just there that is illuminated. That's the space we're heading to. That yes. is the Olivier space. There's the fly tower, and that there is the shard. Like been taken up the shard <laughs> anyway the visit or to give it its full title the visit or the old lady comes to call is based on the classic play of the same name by Friedrich Durrematt and is premiering a brand new adaptation by Tony Kushner who likes it long ladies and gentlemen right here at the National and the reason I say he likes it long is because he's responsible for a play with one of the longest titles that we've ever seen which was I Ho or to give it its full title I'll see if you can recall it. Uh, wasn't that uh, an intelligent homosexual's guide to scriptures? Yeah, you're, something. you're sort of on the right path. It's the intelligent homosexual's guide to capitalism and socialism with a key to the scriptures. There we go. It rolls off the tongue, Which doesn't it? Which we caught it? at the Hampstead Theatre and we was did. really good. It was. And also, of course, his magnum opus, Angels in America, which has a playing time of more than seven hours, although it's split over two parts. It's just two parts. And we saw that here at the Nash. It did, and it transferred over onto Broadway It did, as well. it did indeed. So, now, this plays no exception with the long theme, as its current runtime in previews is a little over four hours including two intervals ladies and gentlemen. But gents. if it's good, I don't mind it if it's long. fly by if it's good. Yeah, it's good. But if anyone can help us feel captivated over such a long run time, it's the director of this piece and it's Jeremy Herrin. Jeremy Herrin, previous artistic director of Headlong, he did This House, Labour of Love and Brilliant People, things. Places and Things. Okay. So, well, there we go. You know, it's got potential. Yep. Now, the visit tells the story of an improbably beautiful woman called Claire Zakassian, who returns to her hometown as the world's richest woman. So the locals hope her arrival signifies a change in their own fortunes, but they soon realise that prosperity will only come at a terrible price. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay. Playing Claire amongst a cast of almost 30 okay. and a band, Great. In well, Olivier is a big space. Is the legendary Leslie Manville. Now, Leslie has been in the business forever. She was recently Olivier nominated for A Long Day's Journey Into Night, and she won an Olivier for Best Actress in a Play for her part in The Extraordinary Ghosts, which premiered at the Almeida Theatre in 2014 before transferring into town. Yep. We saw that, thought it was brilliant. It did. Also in this cast, a bit of a treat, Australian Hugo Weaving. No, he's plenty of stage credits, but you'll perhaps know him best for his screen work on Lord of the Rings, The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and playing Agent Smith in the Matrix series oh, of films. Oh, no, I know who you mean. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, wow. So, okay. it, uh, I mean, because you can't get enough of us, as well as really long plays, two intervals, which means two 30-second interval breakdowns, fellow leggers. So stick around to hear all of those breakdowns to the end, to hear our thoughts and find out how many stars... It's the first interval, fellow leggers, which means it's time for the first break, <laughs> leggers. 30, 30 second interval, interval breakdown. Go, so what do you me? think so okay. far? You I'm enjoying first. it. I think it's an interesting story. I think it's got enough peril. I think Hugo Weaving is unrecognisable now, but he is marvellous. Um, I mean, I'm having a good time. I'm interested. There's enough going on to keep me with it. I think the cast is great. I think the piece is weird and slow and static staging. There's so many people on the stage, which is nice to see, and the set moving, but only in the last 20 minutes of an hour and a half did anything happen. So it's Fellow Leggers, we've come to the second interval, which means it's time for the second 30, 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. Go. Go. What do you think the 
start with you this time? Um, this time, I think the second act has been better. It was much shorter, 45 minutes, um, driven by Hugo. And boy, is he good. Um, so it's much more plot driven. We've established the plot now, so I'm enjoying it a lot more. How about you? Yeah, I mean, Hugo Weaving is just absolutely incredible. Um, it is suspenseful. Like, I am on the edge of my seat. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit apprehensive, both about where this is going to go and where it's going to end up. I'm on a journey, guys, and you're coming with us. Let's see what happens. Fellow Leggers, we've come to the end of the four hours. Did it feel like four hours? Well, it feels like it's a, it is around 2 a.m. right now, and, and I feel like I'm sleep deprived. Um, did it, yeah, it feels its length. I wouldn't say for me that it feels longer it than feels it is. It feels its own length. But it feels its own length, it really does. Um, um, let's start with you. Uh, what's, what's your, I mean, this is your first introduction to this story, and it's considered to be an absolute classic. It's considered to be one of the greatest pieces of sort of fantasy revenge literature that can there we, is. Are there going to be a bit of spoilers in here? Can I we mean, say there's a bit of spoilers a couple, to some degree? Yeah. Just in terms of the setup, it's an idea of a guy does a girl wrong, she then becomes very um, wealthy and can afford to make her own justice. So she goes to this town and says, do you know what, I'll give you a billion dollars if someone kills this guy. Ultimately, it's a setup. Yep. I don't think you need four hours to tell, to, that, to tell story. that story. And then what ensues, I think it could have, I, I don't think it was stylistic, nice. Well, no, it's not. It's nothing I haven't seen here in the Olivier. Really nice lighting, lots of people on stage. The ensemble just didn't work well together, I don't think, and that's from a director's point of view. I yep. don't think the director has gel people together they're just in their individual silos I maybe mean, it's a the, stylistic move but for me it didn't move there's opportunities here to improve those things it's in previews this is its second performance maybe it wor what worked well in the rehearsal stage isn't, is based, isn't transferring yep. well to the Olivier stage Possibly. and it might be something that the director picks up on maybe there'll be more movement maybe there'll be more um, those, those found the first, ensemble moments first half might change. to be so static improved in the second half yep. third just meh for me um, but in terms of each individual performer from ensemble through to the leads I can tell they're top class yeah. like what they were doing was great mm -hmm. I, I how agree. about you I enjoyed the story more than you seem to enjoy the story for me this you know uh, this piece of literature is you know this play is is old it's not new it's very very old but this is a, an adaptation it is an adaptation but the story so the essence, they have I'm talking the about the essence of the story here felt to me like to be a precursor of like a black mirror like what happens if someone could buy their own justice if, if, if we lived in a world where yes. money ruled what you know come on you know and, the good the thing power, about black mirrors it's an hour. That's 60 minutes long. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And that's the thing. Yes, yeah. I agree. There's yeah. an essence of a story. Does yeah. it need to be dragged out for four hours? No, it doesn't, in my opinion. I like the story. I like the setup. Yeah, and, the and it was brought to life really well there. by the performances. You know, I, I had a good time. Um, let's move on to some of those performances. Now, we've dissected the story somewhat. Um, we can't talk about everybody because there's 30 plus of them, including children. And inc um, including you know, an ensemble of what Massive seems to be um, just people, young people there who I'm, I'm sure like graduates or still at stage school um, just come on for one scene. Mm. So there's more than that. There's lots of people in this. There are lots of <laughs> There's <laughs> lots. Are so we people. getting the point across? There's lots of people in but this. But the Olivier it's a, it's is a, a massive huge ensemble. space, and we've seen it done in the past when there isn't enough people, yeah. and it just looks like an empty space. Whereas they did fill it, and the transition specifically looked quite really nice. Yeah. Lots of backlit silhouettes going on. Uh, that was nice. Um, the, there was a mayor. <laughs> there was one <laughs> Nicholas of the Wooderson played Mayor Nicholas um, Herkheimer and oh my god is he a fantastic actor he's is brilliant is he absolutely in control he goes on this journey that goes from sort of a bit naive and bumbling to driven and to actually I'm going to do this for the town and oh I just loved him I was putty in his hands yeah he was great <laughs> not that's, that's butter the then. Saying, not butter <laughs> Um, yeah, he was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Like say, whole cast Loved was, but him. yeah, he's, he he had a great role. Yeah. He was up there. It's, it's almost like one of the leads, probably third down, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Third, third score. And let's just talk about the two leads. Let's talk about Leslie Manville now, who's a stalwart. I thought she was brilliant. Do you know who she reminded me of in this? Um, Meryl Streep. 
Yeah, she was quite I mean, there's worse ass. people to be compared to. I mean, I'll she wasn't, Meryl. but she looked like her, almost in the styling, I think, of, of the costume and the yeah. way and the makeup. She was very like, like uh, Miranda Devil Wears Wears Prada look, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, but she it's was like absolutely older. brilliant as well, because she's not only working with text, um, which is really meaty, which she really brought to life, but mm -hmm. her characterisation, what's her going on with her. Yeah, absolutely. Her physicality was brilliant. It was, and that, that's it. It wasn't, the performance from her wasn't just in the words that was that she was saying. It was, uh, every single thing was considered. Um, she has a reason not to move one side of her body, and that must be so difficult to do, to think, okay, I can't use that arm, because you, as an actor, you, your body is your tool. You want to be using your everything you've got, and she can't do it. But it doesn't detract away from her ability, which is absolutely yes. outstanding. Uh Nomination. Let's do it. Because she's she doesn't she Break gives her heart and soul. 2020, 2020 nomination. Best actress in a play, Leslie Mandel for this because she is she's the driving force behind the reason for this play, and she is fantastic. Yep. Also, let's talk about Hugo Weaving as Alfred Ill. It looks like Alfred Three. In the programme, I was like, is he Alfred the Third? No, he's Alfred, Alfred Ill. Ill. Of course he Alfred is. Ill. He's brilliant. And I think the thing is, it's this age-old thing of we see actors on TV, we see them in movies, and, you know, their performances are small, and you get used to what they do. And you think when they bring it to a stage, especially a large cavern like the Olivier, can they project? Do they have the stagecraft? Do they have the versatility of a solid actor? And he was brilliant. He's dynamic. Vocal, his vocal tone... Yeah. What, is brilliant. It is. It's beautiful. The stagecraft it's, is great. It's, sort of, it's quite it's quite sexual in a way in that sort of gruff rough and ready <laughs> manly way I didn't um, get that I, but I, I, I won't detract just, from the fact that you just, did it's just me then um, I feel honoured to have seen this performer live I feel like this is a performance even though the piece has its flaws that I'm going to be thinking about in 20 years time and go oh my god I'm so lucky I got to see that actor P portray this character on stage yeah. literally feet away from me um, mm -hmm. I would say if there's one reason to see it alone it is the fact that we have this guy coming from Australia who doesn't do a huge amount of British stage work you may never get the chance to see him again he's got to be experienced break a leg as nomination best actor in a play undoubtedly he really Just comes into his own in the second form. act yeah. and I think the second act made it for me do without the first the and the third fear I felt his emotion I was scared for him I was apprehensive I was optimistic and then I was terrified he does all of those things and if you can get the audience to feel what you are feeling as an actor and what you're hoping they can see wow it's an it's a masterclass it really really is let's talk yep. about a few creative designs as well um, just wanted to mention lighting because you said about those beautiful silhouettes and back and backdrop back lighting lit, work isolated yeah. again the Olivia space is a big space it's Paul Constable would you be surprised to well, see well there we go yeah. and I think um, they'll make some fantastic shots production shots in this it's a lovely silhouette wetted stuff yep. smoky going on yeah really can we stuff. shout out for the band as well the the music yes. personified the era of that coming out of the post kind of depression jazzy. time and you've got those jazz and saxophone that, that, really yeah, nice the sort of um, bass going what's the on. word I'm looking prohibition era is come to an end and we're sort of slipping into the 50s and we're sort of starting to see more color and rock and roll sort of influences I thought the music a uh, musical direction by Malcolm Edmund Stone thought I I just thought it was fantastic. Um, also, there's some singing, company voice work. I would say well done to Claire Wheeler as choir leader and Victoria Woodward as company voice. And please, can we just bow down to Paul Arditi, who's once again done sound design, fantastically evocative. I was, I was in that area. I was in the south of America. I was yeah. in an isolated state. And the loudness, thank God for the volume. Well, they've just got it right. They've got yeah. all the equipment, they've got all the gear, and, and they've the got idea. an idea. It's not and like they us. Make it work. It's like opposite, opposite to us. <laughs> Let's right, sum it's it freezing up. cold. Yeah, okay. It's because it's, it's so late. You're um, probably wondering how many stars we are going to give. The what is visit. It or the old lady comes to call. Currently playing here in the Olivier Space at the National Theatre, we are going to give. It's a three, funnily enough, because I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought the performances were stunning. I would say, come and see it to see these actors on stage. All of the elements are there. It's great lighting, great sound, great design. But you didn't I like it at no, all. I enjoyed the performances. <laughs> you wouldn't bother. I knew the performances were great, but the actual piece and the length of it and 
just engaging. I think once I got past the ideas, okay, I've seen this now. It was just too static. You really want to give I it I wanted a... more. So you, you're happy with a two? I wouldn't want people to come and see it. So they, I know they'd come to me going, God, that was boring. Like, but thanks, but it looks I nice. I think there's enough to make Substance, up for it. But it's no, long. It's no, put to get no, four no hours deal. in the presence of two fantastic well, hey, act actors. I would come. Do you know what? That's just what That's I compromise, think. That's compromise, guys. What do you think? Let That's us know down thinks. below. Ain't it difficult when you live with someone and you just can't agree on anything? Ain't it difficult, love? Let us know. <laughs> down down below. below. Anyway, we're the Breaker Leggers. <laughs> we'll catch you again soon. Bye. Bye.